Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I fix my broken nail. I literally just did my nails probably two days ago. And I'm just like, I got to work on Monday and I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? My nail's broken. And I'm like, how the hell did this happen? And literally in the middle of my nail, let me show you guys. Focus. Do you guys see that crack? Like what? And then you can see like the band-aid. Um, the band-aid mark. Do you guys see that? I was like, how, how in the world does this happen? Like, none of my other nails are messed up. They're all good. So, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a broken nail at home without having to cut your nail. You're just going to need a few simple supplies that I'm pretty sure you guys have around your house. So for starters, we're gonna need a tea bag. And no, not a tea bag to be tea bagged on. Ew. But a tea bag. And this one actually is one of my good ones. So for those of you who have anxiety and don't take anxiety medications, you're probably gonna really want this. That's a tea sis. Anywho, you're gonna need a nail filer. It can be either your most expensive one if you're going to be fancy or you can use a 99 cent nail filer. Literally, it's going to do the same exact thing. Okay, okay. You're going to need acetone. We're going to need to remove that nail polish that we just applied. At least for me, just applied. From Amazon, we're going to need these little nail clipper things. Basically, you're going to put your nail into this thing with obviously a cotton pad or you can use aluminum foil if you don't have these little things with obviously a cotton ball or a cotton swab or a cotton pad or whatever you want to call them with acetone so that way the nail can be incubated and it can remove the nail polish um you're also going to need obviously your nail color of choice um mine is actually this purple one it's by Jellish and it's called Richard You Not. This is the one that I use. So going to need some pliers. I call them pliers, probably not called pliers. You're also gonna need a buffer. These are super duper cheap. Um, probably like a dollar ninety nine cents. I also have this kit that I love using from Amazon. And again, I'm gonna show you in further details of exactly everything that I do. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so these are basically my nails. I literally just did them two days ago. Yes, I do my nail polish at home. I do have a video of how to apply and how to remove the gel polish. If you are interested, I will leave it in the description below. But I have gone very, very, very good with applying my own nail polish. I think I do a very good job, at least. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this fingernail. Look at this. I can just lift it up and you can see it lifting. So what we're going to do is first remove the top layer of your gel polish. Take out the TBTB TB nail filer. So what we're trying to do right now is take off this glossy layer. As you can see, the light is shining on it and it's pretty glossy, right? So you want to make sure that you take that layer off. So this is how we're going to do it. So to try to stay in focus, I'm going to try doing it like this and see if it works. But you're going to go over and you're gently going to slide it onto your nail. You want to start making this white cast right here that you can see. You want to try making that cast all around the nail. And obviously, being very gentle where you have that crack. And that's pretty much it. That's what we want it to look like. So basically, we went from this, all nice and pretty, to this. Perfection. So you're going to go ahead and take the cotton pad. Make sure you put some acetone. Put it into this little clip. Leave it on for like probably 10, 15 minutes, and then you're gonna start using that tool and remove the gel polish. Try to make sure you're doing this very gently, especially where you have that crack. You don't want to make that crack way bigger than what it is. So you're gonna get your buffer, you're gonna buff out your nail and take out all of the ridges that the gel polish created. So that's what it should turn out with after you're done buffing it. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our tea bag. We're gonna go ahead and open it. I normally just cut the top of this off. 
And this does make a mess, so I would say be very, very careful. We're gonna go ahead and cut that. All right, guys, so you see how small I cut that little piece? It's super tiny, and it's basically, we just wanna make sure that we're cutting enough to cover the breakage, as well as a little bit past the breakage, so that way it can seal correctly. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put the pH bond. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the pH bond to take up the moisture from the nail. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation, also known as a base coat. Make sure that you apply a layer that's not too thin, not too thick. Reason being is you wanna make sure that the tea bag paper absorbs to the nail. As you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and seep right through. And then once you go ahead and cure it for about two minutes, it's gonna harden to the nail. And you're gonna see that once it hardens, the nail, it's like if it's magically cured, there's no more breakage. And now you see me being very precise of how I'm placing it. All right, so this is what it should look like. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cure it under the light for about two minutes. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is just literally the top coat. And as you can see, let me see if I can get close to here. It does not, and I'm pushing up. It is not lifting. So here's a trick. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a clean cotton cloth. We're gonna get some alcohol. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the sticky layer that happens to form every time you use gel. So we're gonna take off that sticky layer, okay? Taking it off. Gently just go over your nail. And when you're going over your nail, you're gonna notice if you're following along, you're gonna notice that there's gonna be, you can most definitely feel where the little paper is that we just put on there, where it's at. Like you can feel it. And you put your hand over and you can just feel the edges. So what we're gonna do is take off those edges. We're gonna take off this top layer that we just put around this nail. Okay, we're gonna take that part off. Basically, we're just gonna buff it. So that way, it does not appear that we did anything to the nail. And just like that, does that look like my nail was broken? Does it look like if my nail was just broken? Absolutely not, right? Look how cool. And look, I'm gonna lift it up. Nothing, nothing's coming up. Isn't that amazing? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my nail polish on and you're gonna see it's gonna look exactly like this thumb right here. And like if nothing happened. It does not even look like if my nail is broken, right? Isn't that so insane? And that is the way, my dears, that you can fix your nail quick and easy at home with just using things that you have at home. If you guys did like this type of video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please, please, please share my channel so that way other people can be interested in my channel and I have more subscribers. My goal for this month is to hopefully reach 100 subscribers. Don't know if that's going to happen, but please, please, please try, 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 try to share my video. Um, make sure to click up that thumbs up button so I know if you guys like these type of videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!